talked a lot about mindfulness on previous podcasts. Gratitude, well, I think has really made a huge positive impact. And this comes somewhere where I, especially, I would say during my 20s, I think of my life in phases and they all bleed into one. I'm the same person throughout it. There's a lot of consistency to come through it. But I also can really see the differences in myself at different stages in my life. So if we put this block in my in my 20s, I do think, anxiety and worry was a big thing for me but for a part of my 20s it was there if if there was if I was waiting for something or if there was a decision to be made or I needed to rely on someone else accepting something or deciding something I think I've talked on here the story before about waiting for a car we were trading in another one there was there wasn't an issue with the documents they just needed to check something but it's like it's not gonna work they're not gonna do it. and I was like really before anything happened got into it and that that was me that's what I did and through loads of different stages I've heard to more you know taking control and being positive and, and all of that sort of stuff and I think gratitude is a big part of that being able to the, the converse to it is people are always like well I want this that person's got that why can't I have this and you're always looking looking forward but with almost like a victim complex attached to it and I think that's the opposite to gratitude where it's like got this and you know I've built this and this is better than it was before or actually this isn't as good but it still could be this and taking pleasure in in the small things I think that again me now having that mentality has pulled me from that place where I would have been envious of other people or looking for other things or feeling like I could never do something because someone else has and now really focusing on what I've got and what I can achieve and what I can build and what I can do and and again gratitude is a huge anchor for that and it's you know it's not just talk this genuinely has happened my mindset has gone from here to here and it's because of these things now that's the kind of inspiration I want to give this week is just getting people to try whatever way works again I don't write it down I do it as more of a in and out thing in my head so I'm about and and doing things and seeing things but I do I have certain things that are almost like my triggers to remind me, oh, I'm glad I've got this, or I'm glad I did that, or I'm glad I could see that. It just puts you in a more positive space, and I think it just makes everything better when you're doing that. It's not just that one thing. It starts to resonate in your whole life. Like you said, Joe, about how you surround yourself with things. If you're conscious to do that, like I said, for this person I, I follow on LinkedIn, it comes up all the time, and it gives these great, aff- for what for me aren't just new learnings, but they would have been years ago. They're now affirmations of those things. Like, oh yeah, I remember that, or I do that, or I did that and I stopped it and I should start trying it again. And I, it, I think it all balls up in that same mindset, which ultimately, like I said, it's you can't just choose to be negative or po- positive. You have to fight against the negativity like you do all those other things. But the choice is you have to choose to fight against it. And once you've made that choice, that's the first step and it all starts moving ahead. So I don't think it's yeah. just choosing positivity, it's choosing to fight against the negativity. And once you do that, you start the ball rolling. Uh-huh.